Uh, good afternoon. My name is Sulema Mohamed Bello from Mathematics. I am here to deliver a lecture on a course title, Elementary Mathematics 1, a course called MTH111. The topic is matrices and determinants. To understand the concept, we need to uh, define what is a matrix. The matrix is defined according to di different perspective. But the one here we bring for a lemma understanding for a student to understand the matrix is Q over, over a field K is a rectangular array of a scalar usually presented in the following form. Then apart from this definition, you may uh, easily be defined a matrix as a set of a real number or complex number that is arranged in form of, uh, of um, a rectangular array. Then if you look at this, is one of the examples of a matrices where the first element is indicated as A11 and the second element from the first row as um, A12. The third element is A13. And from the second row, you, you see uh, A21 and the second one, the second element A22, and the third element A23. Then from the last row, if you look at it, it's A31 and A32 and A33. Then if you look at the nature of the matrix, it's reading the row. The first one is telling you you are in first row and first element. The second element from the first row is telling you it's from first row, second element. The third one is in first row, third element, going to the last even the second row is indicated already. Then if you look at the nature of the matrix in the bracket, it forms what we call a rectangular array that from the definition we define as a matrix is a set of a real or a complex number that is arranged in a row and column. Then now, after understanding the concept and what is a matrix and how matrix is presented, then we are now going to the order or the size of a matrix. How do you understand the size of a matrix? Then if you look at it, we say a matrix having M row and N columns is called M by N matrix. What do we mean by that? We mean by, in order to get the order of a particular matrix, you need to calculate the total number of the row represented as M, followed by the total number of the column, marks the order of the matrix. Then if you look at the previous example given, one of the examples of a matrix and our, as our example, if you look at it, if you can calculate the row we have, we have um, three rows, we have three columns. Then if you are to say the order of a matrix, then the we are going to say the matrix is order three by three. Then if you look at the example given, the first example, if you look at it, we say state the order of the following matrices. Then number one, if you look at, if you can calculate the total number of the row, you will see that the first row, which is five, seven, two. The second row is six, three, eight. It means that we have only two rows. Then by, in between them, then you calculate the total number of the column. Then the column is coming from 5 to 6, 7 to 3, and 2 to 8. Then the first example, the order of the matrix for the first example, we have row 2 and column 3. Then the order of the matrix is 3, is 2 by 3. That is ready. Then the second example, if you can see, the order of the matrix, if you calculate the effect, the row, we have how many row? We have four rows reading from five, six, four, two minus two, seven, one, zero, and three, five, one. Then if you look at it, we have four rows. For the column, 
reading from 5, 2, 7, 3, and 6, minus 3, 1, 5, and 4, 2, 1. Then we have the order of that matrix from the second example as uh, sum 4 by 3. Then the last example, if you look at it, you calculate the total number of the row. We have two rows and we have four columns. Then the order of that matrix is uh, 2 by 4. The one thing is to be understand and to be careful. To get the order of a particular matrix, you first of all calculate the total number of the row before the no total number of the column. If mistakenly, for example, you say the total number of the column, then row, you are wrong in getting the order of the matrix. Then if you look at the first example, let me cite it, the first example that we say the order of the matrix is 2 by 3. If you look at it, if mistakenly, you did not understand the concept, the idea in getting the order of matrix, you will discover that uh, instead of saying 2 by 3, you are going to say 3 by 2. Then when you say 3 by 2, absolutely, this is not the order of a matrix. Because the order of matrix, you calculate the total number of the rows then by column. That is how to get the order of a matrix. Then now, the next slide is telling you the types of a matrix. We have different types of matrix. The first one is equal matrix. How do you know the equal mat a matrix is equal? For you to know the equal matrix, you, uh, we are talking about the previous uh, 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 things that we discussed. That is the order of a matrix. Then for you to know that two matrices are equal, we say two matrices are said to be equal if the corresponding element throughout are equal. Thus, the two matrices must also be of the same order. Look at it. We say that for, no, for you to get for you to get the equality of two matrices, it means that it is a work of the order of a matrix. Then if you look at the order, the example given here, look at the order example, we say if A11, A12, A13, and A21, A22, A23 as a matrix, for you to get the equality of a matrix the same to this one, look at the order matrix where we use a numerical example, then look at 4, 6, 7, then what we are saying here, 4 is going the first, since 4 is the first element in the order matrix, then the order matrix, the first element is A11 going to the last one. Then if you look at it, the order of the matrix written as A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, if you look at it, the order of the matrix is 3 by, is 2 by 3. Then the second matrix where we make use of the numerical example, if you look at it, it's something as 2 by 3. Then in getting the equality of a matrix, calculate the total number of the rows if the total number of the rows from the previous the order matrix is the same thing with the total number of the row and at the same time the total number of the column of the order matrix is the same thing with the total number of the column in the order mat uh, matrix you say that the two matrices are, are equal then the second example the second example look at another one if you look at the order of the first matrix that we say is equal to the order matrix then if you look at it uh, uh, is order 3 by 3. The order matrix with the numerical example, if you look at it, is um, order 3 by 3. The reason why we gave this one to know that each element, it has a corresponding element in the order one. Then the order of the matrix play, uh, plays a vital role in terms of getting the equality of a matrix. Then if you look at this one, the order of the matrix is 3. The order of the matrix here is 3. That is why we say it is equal. Then another type of a matrix is a square matrix. If you look at the square matrix, we say square matrix of order M by N. When we are saying the square matrix, the square matrix is just um, a matrix that the total number of the uh, column is equal to the total number of uh, uh, a row. Then when the total number of the row is equal to the total number of the column, then we say such a matrix is a square matrix. If you look at where we say EG, if you look at the first matrix in a bracket, it's 4, 4 uh, from the first row, 3, 3 from the second row. If you look at the order of that matrix, it's 2 by 2. Then since it's 2 by 2, the, two, the row is equal to the column. Then we say that uh, the matrix is square matrix. The other matrix is 3 by 3. If you look at it, it's, uh, uh, we have uh, uh, row 3 and column 3. Then we say that for you to call a matrix a square matrix until when the row of a particular matrix is equal to the, uh, the column of that matrix, then we say it's a square matrix. And look at exercise one, the student can try exercise one based on the example 
given again. If you look at it, the order, the first matrix is 5, 2, 4 from the first row, from the second row is 1, 3, 8, and from the third row is 7, 2, 9 in a bracket. Then another matrix, if you look at it, we call that matrix I. The reason why we call it I is an identity matrix. What is identity matrix? We can define it as one of the types of matrix. But before we reach there, identity matrix is a matrix, is a diagonal matrix in which all the elements of that matrix, except the leading diagonal matrix, are unity. Then, if you look at the, uh, the, the matrix, the first row is 1, 0, 0, the second row is um, 0, 1, 0, the third row is 0, 0, 1. Then the student can verify it. Then, if you look at it after saying SSI, then the student should verify that um, when you pick A matrix, multiply identity matrix, you are going to get A. How do you get that? For you to multiply matrices, you know we are taking first row against all the columns of a particular matrix. Then if you take the first row against all the particular matrices, you are going to testify that when you pick a particular matrix, multiply an identity matrix to get back to that matrix. Then the next type of a matrix is a null matrix, or you can say a zero matrix. Then if you look at it, the element of the matrix are all zero. Then what is that null matrix? It's defined. Null matrix is one whose elements are all zero. Then if you look at the element of that matrix are all zero, that is what we call the matrix and the matrix. The next one is diagonal matrix. One of the types of matrix is diagonal matrix. If you look at it, we say diagonal matrix is a square matrix. The reason why we call it a square matrix, if you look at the total number of the color of the, that particular matrix is equal to the total number of the row. And we say from the square matrix for a square matrix to be a square matrix, until the total number of the column of a particular matrix is uh, equal to the total number of the row. Then we are defining a diagonal matrix. We say the diagonal matrix is a square matrix. The first condition, a diagonal matrix must be a square matrix, which all the elements are zero except the dots of the leading diagonal, dots from the leading diagonal. Just, it's just a correction here, just from uh, the leading diagonal. Then what are the leading diagonal? If you look at the first element, is A11. That is the leading diagonal matrix from the first row. Then the leading diagonal matrix from the second row is A22. Then the leading diagonal from the third row is A33. Then we say that this matrix, based on the definition given, is a diagonal matrix. If you look at all the elements except the leading diagonal matrix are all uh, uh, zero. Then the next one is a unit matrix. We have defined unit matrix when we are defining the order matrix that we give an uh, exercise. Then we say that a unit, a unit matrix, the first one, it must be a square and it must be a diagonal. But the difference between diagonal matrix and the, the difference between normal uh, unity matrix, the leading diagonal matrix must be one one before we call it uh, a unit matrix. Then the definition there is given as a, a diagonal, uh, a unit matrix is the diagonal matrix in which all the leading diagonal matrix are unity. What is that unity? One one. And you, a unity matrix is connected by I. Then the next one, addition of a matrix. Then I, another thing to be considered again when you are adding or subtracting of a matrix, because the next one is addition and subtraction of a matrix. When you are uh, adding or when you are subtracting a particular matrix, then the order of a matrix has to be there. If the order of a matrix, if for example, the matrix that you are trying to add to another matrix, if the order of that matrix is not the same, then you cannot add and you cannot subtract. Then if you look at it, we say from to be added or to be subtracted, two matrices, two matrices must be of the same order. Then the sum of different the sum or difference. What is that difference? We know that difference in order name we can uh, reflect that uh, difference is subtraction is then determined by adding or subtracting the corresponding element. Then what we are saying here is that for you to add two matrices or subtract two matrices, the two matrices must be of the same order. Then secondly, when you are adding or you are subtracting, you are adding the corresponding element. Then look at the first example, the matrix of the first example. The first matrix A, if you look at this, is over order 2 by 3. The second matrix is order 2 by 3 again. It means that we can add A by and 2 and B. Then for you to add A, we are picking the corresponding element. You are picking 4, adding it to 1. If you look at it, the solution here, we pick the first matrix A is 4, 2, 3. The second matrix is 5, 7, 6. Then the second matrix that we are adding is 1, 3, and 8, 5, and 9, 
form. Then remember we said that for you to add the matrix, we add the corresponding element. Then the first element from matrix A is 4, the second element is, the first element from matrix B is 1. If you say 4 plus 1, you are going to get this 5. Then the second element from the first matrix A is 2, the second element from the second matrix B is 8. If you pick 8 plus 2, you are going to get 10. Then the second, the fourth element from the first matrix is 3. If you add 3 with the third element from the second matrix, which is B, is 3 plus uh, 9, you get 12. Then going to the next row, the first element from the a matrix A is 5. The second element, the first element from the second matrix B uh, is uh, 3. If you add 5 by 5 plus 3, you get 8. Going to the other one, that is how we get the addition. Then the subtraction. If you look at the same uh, uh, matrix T, the order of uh, matrix T and the order of matrix Q, if you look at it, they have the same order. We have 2 by 3 as the order. The second matrix Q is 2 by 3. Then we can add it or we can subtract it. But the question here we should take uh, things from matrix uh, T. If you look at matrix T, it's reading from 6, 5, 4, 9, 4, 8. And matrix Q is 3, 7, 1, and 2, 10, minus 10. Then how do you subtract it? We are subtracting, remember we say we are subtracting or adding the corresponding element. But here is a subtraction. Then you are going to pick 6 minus 3. 6 is from matrix T and Q. The first element from matrix Q, uh, sorry, T is 6. The first element from matrix Q is 3. If you say 6 minus 3, you are going to get 3. If you take the second element from matrix T, which is 5, minus the second element from matrix uh, Q is 7. If you say 7 minus, uh, uh, sorry, 5 minus 7, you are going to get minus 2. Then the third element from matrix uh, T is 12. The third element from matrix uh, Q is 11. If you pick 12 minus, sorry, 1 is not 11, is 1. If you say 12 minus 1, you get 11 here. Then the, the next row, which is the second row, the first element from the second row is 9, and the second, uh, the first element from the second uh, matrix, which is matrix Q, is 2. If you pick 9 minus 2, you are going to get 7. Then the second element from the first matrix, in row 2 is 4. If you say 4 minus the second element in that uh, second matrix, which is Q, is uh, 10. If you say 4 minus 10, you are going to have this minus uh, 6. The last element from the matrix T is 8. The last element from the matrix uh, uh, Q is minus 5. If you pick 9, uh, sorry, if you pick 8, 8 minus this element is having minus, then you are going to have minus, minus, and minus, minus is plus. Then you are going to have x plus 5. We get that. That, that is how we get this type 13. Then look at the exercises. Look at the, you pick the exercises. You add the x. The first exact the effects you say consider matrix A as this, consider matrix B as this, and consider matrix D, and consider matrix Y. Then the first question to do as an assignment is find A plus B. The reason why we can add A plus B, if you look at it, we have the same order. And if you look at B minus A, it means that for you to add A minus B, you are taking A plus B. Then B minus A, B is coming first minus A. Then the same approach to that uh, second uh, thought uh, exercises. Then the next one is uh, multiplication of a matrix. Then in this case, we are going to uh, start with a uh, Scalar multiplication. How do you under what is that scalar? Scalar, uh, before we take the definitions, we are just saying that um, you are picking uh, a scalar is something, a number, or something, or anything, multiplying a general matrix. Then when a situation happens, we say that that thing that you pick multiplying a particular matrix is a scalar. Then if you look at it, we say to multiply a matrix by a single number. Look at it by a single number. That single number, we call it a scalar. To each individual element of a matrix is multiplied by the factor. What is that factor? K, which is called a scalar. Then it means that you are picking that scalar, multiplying each element from that matrix. When we say it's a scalar multiplication. Then look at example, we say consider the following set of matrix. Matrix A is 7, 8, and 3, 1. Then the matrix B is 3, 3, 4, 0, 1, 1. Matrix C is 3, 4, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 3, and 1, 3, 1. Then we say find 4, 8. Look at the scalar there in the first equation is 4. It means that we are using 4 to multiply each element for matrix A. That is why if you look at the solution, we say 4, 8. 
multiply matrix A or what is that matrix A is 7831. Then it means that 4 is multiply each element from matrix A. Then you should pick 4 times 7, you get 28, and 4 times 8, you get 32, and 4 times 3, you get 12, and 4 times 1, you get uh, 4. The same approach to matrix B, we are using 3 as a scalar to multiply matrix B, and matrix B is order 3 by two matrix then you can use that one because it's a single number multiplying uh, a particular matrix then if you look at we say the scala is three we are using three to multiply individual element from the matrix b then we are saying three times three we get nine and three times three we get nine three times four we get twelve three times zero we get zero and three times one we get three and the other one three times one we get zero the same uh, uh from this third example five is a scalar multiply matrix uh, c then it means that we're using five to multiply all the element in matrix c when we say five times three the first element is three the, the scalar is five five times three we get 15 and five times four we get 20 and five times one we get five from the first row from the second row five is multiplying one zero one five times one we get five five times zero we get zero five times one we get five the second uh, row five is multiplying one three two one then 5 times 1 will be 5, 5 times 3 is 15, and 5 times 5 is 25. Then look at the exercises. We say consider the matrix A, which is 3 by 3, and matrix B is 2 by 2, and matrix C, and other 3 by 3. Look at the first example, we say fine. It means that for you to solve this assignment, you are going to pick up uh, uh, them uh, separate. How do you do that? Pick 5. Multiplying the matrix A, separate what you got as a separate answer. Then you pick the scalar second, scalar which is 3 multiplying matrix A, the answer you got before you come and add them together. And remember, we say that before you add a particular matrix, the two matrices of, uh, is going to be of the same order. Then for you as a learner, example, uh, as a student, as a learner, for you to get the addition of the matrix, don't pick them in one place, pick 5A. Separate the answer you get 5a, keep it aside, you take it 3a, you keep it aside, then you multiply them together before you pick the two, what you got in 5a and what you got in 3a, you add them together, you get the equation. Then if you look at the second one, you are using 7 to multiply uh, uh, matrix B, then the third one is uh, hc minus 9a. It means that the reason why we are adding, we are subtracting the, if you look at the two matrices are, are the same order, though the elements are not the same, then you can do that. Then the last one, you pick A plus A, then you, before you do that, that is why we say you do it separately, you pick already, from the first example, we have 3A, if you can look at it, then it's 3A, then in this case, you add A plus A first, separate, then 3A, you take 3 multiply A, as a scalar and keep it aside what you got in a plus a you add them together you get the answer for that um, question the next one is um the real multiplication of the matrix the other one we say is scalar multiplication is one uh, element multiplied a particular matrix then now this is the real multiplication if you look at it you say two matrices can be multiplied together only when the number of columns in the first is equal to the number of the rows in the second then what are we saying for you to multiply a matrix the first row the total number of elements in the first row will be the same with the total number of the elements in the second uh, row in the, in the row the total number of the elements must be the same then if you look at it we say look at it a matrix a as a11 a12 a13 if you look at though the order of the matrix, we don't consider the order of the C A. But the only thing we consider is that the total number of the column in the first that you are taking must be the same with the total number of the row in the seconds. Then if you look at it, the first row has the element of A11, A12, A13. If you look at the row in the matrix B that we are adding, the total number of the element are the same. It's 3, 1, 2, 3. Then it means that we can take the two matrix and can multiply them. How do you multiply them? You are taking row multiplying a column. And when you are taking the row multiplying the column, each individual uh, uh, element is multiplying the corresponding one uh, from the, the, first, uh, 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 the first row and the, that uh, uh, column. Then if you look at this one, the arrow is indicating the first row is multiplying the column here. The column here is B1, B2, B2, the element are the same. Then you are now picking 
a1 1 multiply this one then in between them right plus a1 2 multiply b2 plus sorry if you look at it, this one multiply this one then the next one this one multiply this one this one then in between them you have to put a plus yeah some uh, little bit uh something here then you are taking this one here when you take this one here it means that you are going to have the first one if you take after that we take this one then this one multiply by this plus this one multiply by this plus this one then in between there's supposed to be uh, a plus here. then the next one we have two a two one multiplying this one plus a two two multiplying b two plus this one multiplying at long last you are going to have a matrix of uh, something different there then if you look at that is each element in the top row of a is multiplied by the corresponding element in the first column of b and the product added then hey, look at the product you add the product well, that is what we are saying there that is supposed to be a plus here so that when you pick first element multiplying the first element from the column here then before you take the next element there is yeah, uh, there must be a plus then similarly the second row of the product is found by multiplying each element that is what we are explaining there and look at a numerical example where you can understand this one uh, uh, very very well then the first matrix is a where the first element is sum sorry four seven six the second uh, element from the second row and the first one is two three one then it means that for you to multiply the two matrices if you look at it you are taking the first row here multiply all the elements in the uh, the column of b then it means that four times eight plus seven times three you say four times eight plus seven times three plus six times nine that is how we put the first row here then we have done with the first row against all the col or column here then we go to the second row against all the column it says two times eight we get this plus three times three we get three times three then there is just a, a miss up here here is supposed to be uh, a five here instead of five look at it we say sub four times eight we get this plus then seven times supposed to be five here but three if it is three here here will be three three if it is five here here is uh, supposed to be five and then miss up here is supposed to be it's supposed to be three three or this written five let us go by the five here is five assuming here is five it's not even assuming here is five already because if you look at the nature of the matrix four times eight we have this plus seven times here is supposed to be five we get this and six times nine we get this from the first one with the same approach two times eight we get this plus three times five not three times three here the second element here is uh, five we have this and one times nine we get this then if you look at it this time so we get this this time we get this then we add them to have this matrix if you look at it the matrix we have two row and uh, uh, one color the same approach to the next one and that's why if you look at it, what we are saying when the row of the first is equal to the column of the second then if you look at the element of the first row is one five then the second the element of the b matrix b the the row the, sorry the column is eight to get they have the same and then we can multiply them you take this one multiply this one then you give a space this one multiplying but when you are taking you said one or to look at it one multiply by eight we get the plus five multiply by two we get this then the second one you take again this one but when you finish before you go to the next one then one times four look at it one times four plus five times five we get this then the next one one times three we get this plus five times eight we get this one times one we get this and five times uh, six we get this then we we'll go to the second one the same approach you have this then you take this you take uh, what we are saying the same approach you take two and seven multiply this one you get this two and seven multiply this one you get this two and seven multiply you get this two and seven multiply you get uh, the last one then the last row you take it multiply this one if you look at the matrix from uh two uh three by two and multiplying two by three two by four sorry is it two yes it's two by four we get a, a matrix of order what order look at it how many row we have three row but we have column three by four and look at the exercises again not that multiplying three by two matrix 
and two by two matches give you a product of three. That is what I explained before. In it. Now, the look at uh, exercises. You can take the exercise in it. Uh, the first one, we say the first matrix is four, eight, one, three, four, two, and one, three, three. The second uh, matrix is eight, four, nine. And it means that you are going to the first question, you are taking matrix A multiplied B. You have seen how we do the multiplication. Then the second one, question, the second question, look at it. You are going to is um, square, a square plus b square and an order in the bracket dot b multiply b. Then what you are going to do as how I uh, you, you solve the one from that scalar addition, then you are going to for you to get the answer correctly an accurate answer and the simplest way is to pick a square. It means that a is multiply itself separate. Then you pick b after a multiply itself separate. Then you add it to b. The answer you got then you put matrix b multiply them together the same multiplication with it uh, you get the answer then the next one question is uh, c if you look at a square plus b square it means that a is multiplying the seven pick a matrix multiply another a matrix you keep it aside you pick a b square means b is multiplying itself then you pick b multiply matrix b and another matrix b multiply itself then you multiply it first before you pick what you put in a square uh, and b square add them together. Then when you take it as how you uh, advise you, you're going to have the same answer in there. Then if you look at the last one is 2a, you're going to use 2 to multiply matrix A first and use 4 multiply matrix B first, then before you subtract them together. Then what you get as an answer is not uh, uh, end there. You keep it aside, then you square A, you get a square A of A, then what you got here minus what you got here, you get out. Uh, that your answer then the next one transpose of a matrix then when we are talking of tra transpose of a matrix we are just talking of interchange what is that interchange the a and the first row is going to be is going to uh, turn as a the first first row is going to turn as a first column second row as a second column third row as a third column that is the uh, transpose of a matrix. And if you look at our definition there, we say if two matrices and if two rows and columns of a matrix are interchanged, that is the first row become the first column, the second row become the second column, etc. Then the new matrix is formed is called transpose of a original matrix. When we say if A is original matrix, then a transpose is donated by either you write uh, uh, a slash. Uh, a or you write a, a either with a capital letter or a small letter, we call it a transpose of a matrix. Then look at the first example A, we say let A equal to 5, 8, 3, 1, 1, 2. Then the transpose of A, then the first row, which is 5, uh, 8, is going to become our first column. So in this one, the second row is going to become our second column, the third row is going to become our third column. That is the order of that uh, matrix. If you look at it, for that sorry that is the transpose of the matrix then what we are saying there from order three by two we get two by three that is the interchange again then the next one is some um, uh, uh, a matrix of from the first row is eight to eight one the second row one seven one the third row two four two then if you are going to get the transpose of matrix B, you are going to interchange. Then our first row, which is 8, 1, 8, 8, 1, is going to become our first column, which is 8, 8, 1. Then the second row is going to become our second column. The total row is going to become our total uh, column. Then finally, we are going to the last aspect of it, which is the determinant of a matrix, because from the first sum, uh, uh, let's show we say that um, uh, this matrices and determinant. We are doing matrices. The next one is determinant of a matrix. We say the determinant of a square matrix is the determinant having the same element as those of a matrix. For example, how do you get the determinant of a matrix? We need to indicate something, but uh, nevertheless, how do you get the determinant of a matrix? To get the determinant of a matrix, first of all, we write this A means this A means determinant of matrix A. That is our, our example. Then how do you get the determinant of matrix? So pick the first element, which is A11, which is 5. Look at it. Then how do you then, if you look at 5, is from the first row, is from the first column. Then you are going to cancel the first row, you are going to cancel the first column. Then the element that remain, it will contain the, Then the element that remain there after canceling, because A appear in first row, A appear in uh, first, uh, first column. 
then you are going to cancel the first row and you're going to cancel the uh, first column then when you cancel it or you block it the element that is not going to be blocked is this three four seven then you put it, put it in bracket then the second element normally for uh, is minus you are going to write minus because how do you identify that the first element is going with plus the second element minus the second one plus then the second row is going by minus this one plus this one minus then the next one is plus then minus plus continuously then now then it means that since this one is plus the next one the reason why we do not put this plus this is a silent plus meaning that any number standing here is a, a silent plus attached to that number then the second element is going with the minus here then you pick the second element which is two you pick it the minus sign according to the uh rules then if you look at it two appears in first row you cancel first row and two appear in second column you're going to block it you block it then the element that is not affected is um, zero zero eight and three seven look at it in the bracket then the next one you pick plus then the last element in the first row is one, you pick one, then you block, if you look at one appear in the first row and last column, you block it. If you block first row and last column, the element that is not affected is zero and six and eight and four, you put it in one bracket. Then according to the rules, you are taking six multiplying seven minus four multiplying eight. The same about zero multiplying seven minus eight multiplying this. This one zero multiplying four minus this one. Then if you look at six times seven, we get this. And minus them four times, then we get a uh, twelve. Then look at this. Seven times zero is zero minus eight times three, we get twenty four. And zero times four, we get zero. And eight times three, we get this one. Then you are now going to say we bring the five and the minus two and the one down because that is the one we are going to use at the final answer to multiply the, the element we got. Then if you pick 42 minus 12, you get 30, and 0 minus 24, you get minus 24, and 0 minus 48, you get minus 48. Then you, we open the bracket with the number 5 outside this minus 2, this one. And if you look at 5 times 30, you get 150, minus times minus, you get plus, 2 times 24, you get 48, and plus times minus will get minus and one times will take you to uh, 48 then if you sum this one plus this minus this you get this then if you cannot sum it if you look at this one it's having plus this one is having negative then this one is going with this one and uh, uh 150. then the same way to this one again if you look at the second example you say find the determinant of uh, the second matrix if you look at it it's the same approach you pick three we are three, three as the first element, then you block the first column and first row. When you block it, the element that is not affected is 7, 9, and 8, which is this one in the bracket, then minus the second element, the same approach. The second element with the minus, as how we said, according to that uh, guideline given. Then if you look at 2, is appearing in the second column and it's appearing in the first row. So you block it, you block the other one. Then the element that is not affected is one is 4, 1, 9, and 6. You put them in the bracket. Then the second element, pick up the sign, which is 5 plus 5. Then you block the last column and first row. Then the element that is not affected is this one. Then you take 7 multiplying 6. 7 multiplying 6, something is omitted here. 7 multiplying 6 and x multiplying this one if you look at this seven multiplying six you get we are going to get a number then this multiplying this then already it's not uh, something omitted there seven multiplying this one you get a number that when you multiply this one you subtract you get minus 30 then this multiplying this one you get uh, i think 24 one times now you get a uh, nine and 24 minus nine, you get uh, this uh, 15 four times eight you get another number which is a uh, uh, seven times uh, four times eight you get a number and one times seven you get seven and what you got in multiply this one minus what you got here you get up is 25 here then if you look at it we open this bracket with this one the reason why here is minus if you look at it this one time it is smaller than when you take eight multiply this one then what you got here minus what you get here you are going to have minus that is the same approach to the other one then if you open the bracket this multiply by this one remember you get minus 90 this multiply by this one you're going to get a um, 45 here this multiply by this one you're going to get a um, uh, 75 then when you pick what you got here you get pick what you get here, here you are going to have the determinant of our five then the, we said not that the determinant of a square matrix has the same value as that of the determinant of the transpose of a matrix <laughs>
also a matrix whose determinant is zero is called singular matrix. What we are explaining here, we say that uh, the determinant of a square matrix has the same value as that of that uh, the determinant of the transpose of a matrix. When you get a matrix, you get the determinant. When you transpose it, you get the determinant of that transpose. To what you are going to get is the same thing. Then what we are saying at the last sentence, also a matrix whose determinant is zero is called a singular matrix. What we are saying, assuming you, you are taking the determinant of a matrix and you have zero, we say that uh, it's a singular matrix.